one now. Welcome to Missing People Psych Readings. I'm Margaret. If you like the scrap, and put your thumbs up if you want. So I had three dreams in the last three nights, and it's really interesting, and I want to share them with you and give you my thoughts afterwards. So I'm outside. It's kind of in between night and day, and I'm walking along a path, and I say to myself, I forgot my bag. So I turn around, go back to where I started, and I open up something. I don't know what it is, but I open it up. It almost another bag, and there's a plastic bag in this bag. And I say to myself, "Yep, that's what I want." So that's okay. Then it's it's getting dark, right? It's quite dark, and I'm walking or something, and I bend down to do something. I don't know what I'm bending down to do, but I'm doing something, and I do see two. People. I don't know if they're males or females. See two people. They see me. They're talking about something. I don't know what they're talking about, but they're talking about something because I just look up and watch them doing whatever. I'm not fighting. That's okay. So that's okay. So that ends. Then it gets, it's night time. It's quite dark. Then I'm walking the walls, something, okay? Um, I don't know what it is, but I do see three people. Two of them are male. The third one, I'm not quite sure, right? Walking towards them, and that's where the dream ends. It's quite straightforward. Now, in the dream, I talk about a bag. The bag is quite thick. It's like, I don't know if you have these in America or in China, but shows, like we have shows where you can go and get show bags and have things like your lollies in it and your favourite things, like you might have a favourite movie like... um pretty woman okay so you have separated to pretty woman in this show bag it's kind of like a bag like that okay but nothing in it is a scrambled up so I thought that it's important to share with you but in this at the end of this dream I thought of the lady called Heidi who went missing in Los Angeles and her dog got found at a hotel or a motel I, I had her in my head at the, at the end of the dream so it might be connected to her, I'm not quite sure, but I'll probably share that with you. So, last night I had two dreams, and the first one's quite weird. I don't know what this has got to do what, with anything, but I'll tell you about the dream right away. So, I'm in a place, I don't know where I am, but I am watching two people. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm watching two people. So, that's all right. Then I'm on something blue. Blue, kind of a bit lighter in the blue here, the the car read in blue and I don't know if I'm sliding down it or someone's sliding me down it but I'm holding my breath when this is happening then like, I hold it for about I don't know 20 seconds I suppose then I let it go and then hold my breath again I do this twice okay that's okay so I go down to this thing and that's all right then I'm in a room at least with one other pair person I feel like there might be two but at least one other person and I'm sitting with this person and I say something to him like this is like big brother I don't know why I say it but I say this is like big brother right then we're sitting down and we I'm saying I, I feel like I have a top it's like you know then we really don't have the um sleeves then ones yeah the ones you don't have to say or a shoulder strap just the a flat one. I feel like I'm wearing that because I look over and I go, hmm, I could go swimming. I've got my stuff with me. I go, I can swim in my guy. Then I don't know why I say this, but then I say, yeah, but I don't have my back seat. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly what I say. I go, yeah, but I don't have my back seat. Yeah. And that's where the dream meant. So that's interesting. And like I said, it's quite interesting. I don't know what this has got to do with what, but I that. Then I had another dream. And it's just last night again. And I'm in something. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. But it's in a, in something, it's not that side. It's just in something that's not that side. Okay. Um, it's square. You can move it, that's all I can tell you. At first I thought it may be a train, but it could be one of those square fans or a um a track um track. No you have on your 
I knew it both, so I knew trying to carry stuff in it. That kind of thing. It could be something like that. Or a friend that you're working in and you move it around kind of thing. That's all I can tell you. I really don't know what this is, right? But I'm in this thing, okay? And I'm talking to someone about stopping at somewhere. And they say to me, well, we, we can't stop at this place. We'll stop at the next place. Um, so we go past this place, wherever it is, I don't know what it is, but so we move, move on to the next stop. And we don't quite stop at this stop, but we go a bit further, not much further, but enough so we can get off, okay? So that's okay. Um, it's just first read, I don't know what it is, but yeah, that's all right. Then someone must be outside, okay? So cause someone, I open up the door this door to where what it is I don't know what it is but I open up the door and I there's a set it's quite it's metal goes down and they've got the round the round bit along that you walk down on and it smells like a, a fan you know the thing you have the thin metal part with the round bit on the side it's kind of like that so I thought it may be a fan yeah um, I walk out there and someone's outside look, watching me do this. Um, yeah. I do see, when I go out, I look at, there's a window, I look at the window and I see trees. Um, and that's all I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite an interesting dream. Um, I do feel like they might be connected to each other. So I thought, um, because here in Australia, Nisa Fire is looking for William Taylor, who went missing in 2004. Um, they're looking for his body or, um, um, other stuff related to his disappearance. And I thought maybe connected to it. They might have fans or something that they need to move around in. Um, they might be looking, the, there's a thing on the news to talk about a guy or a person, I should say a person, holding an amulet with a blue and red thing, it reminds them of, of the Spider-Man suit that William was wearing, I thought maybe that's what they're looking for, what bags for that kind of stuff, so I thought maybe connected to it. Um, the footpath in my first dream Maybe, I don't know. So I just thought, maybe all to connect it. Maybe not, I don't know. But I thought they might be connected maybe to Heidi. Because Heidi could have been, she could be anywhere. We all know that she could be, could be anywhere. Not quite sure. So she might be moving around with whoever. Um, But then I thought maybe we in two, because they, they have been talking about bags and envelopes. Um, and then the places to say I'll put things in to do things so maybe so that's pretty much it um tell me your thoughts on this because this is quite an interesting three dreams um yeah especially with the vaccine I don't know what this vaccine is about um yeah I mean it might be related to COVID maybe not but I do find the vaccine related to it and uh, in the big brother and the big brother could be when sister saying it because when it was older in her so yeah that's the only thing I can think of but I find it really interesting so yeah give me your thoughts and see what you think of and yeah see what happens um yeah see you next time for another dream or a missing person thumbs up and like and subscribe if you want and bye